Hey, so here's another Slayer Exciter that I've built. Uh, it uses the same secondary and primary as the previous, although here I've got a slightly different transistor. So this is actually a PNP BJT, and it has better power dissipation, even though it technically can take less absolute maximum current, because the old one would get too hot too easily. And in order to test it, I've got a uh, medium-sized CFL lamp, this little neon bulb here, and then I've got three noble gas ampules. I've got neon, I've got argon, and I've got krypton. So the difference in this circuit and the old circuit is, well, of course, it's PNP, but it also takes a bit more voltage for it to actually do anything substantial, because before that voltage, there's pretty much no arcing at the output, like not even a tiny bit. So now, as you can see, there is a very weak, relatively, uh, output. And take the little neon here, hold it up, does ignite. Uh, this bigger bulb ignites a bit, uh, and the gas ampules will light up too. Uh, but the thing about this is, at this current power output, it can actually stay pretty cool. Whereas the old one, it would get warm pretty quickly. So now I'm giving it five, six volts right now. Six uh, does get hot a bit. Uh, as you can see, there is a good amount of power involved. Uh, get the neon ampule now. You can see it's glowing nicely right there. Uh, now we'll get the argon one. Yeah, that's that's a good good amount of glow. Not amazing, but it's pretty great. And here's a krypton one. The glow is pretty similar. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see the uh, sort of almost clumping that it looks like. And I believe that's related to the waves. Uh, anyway, is it hot? Oh, it's hot. So I'll I'll turn it off pretty soon. But before I do that, I'll show it eight volts. Eight volts. You can see, kind of gets all fluffy and plasmy, and it's dead. <laughs> that's okay. I'll build another. <laughs> 